Good morning, and welcome to Bad Bat Hikes. Today is day 135, and I don't want to get out of bed. <laughs> but alas, there are miles to do and mountains to climb, so let's get up. Yum, doesn't that look amazing? Fresh berries, yogurt, and granola. Delish. Alright, back on trail, and I'm with Miss Monica. Thank you so, so much for You're letting welcome. me stay with you. It's been an absolute blast. It's been a pleasure having you. Good Thanks. luck to you. Thanks. Cross the road, back on trail. <sighs> Miss Monica, that stay was a blast. It really recharged me before getting out here to conquer Greylock today. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So I've got my rain cover on. Sky's not looking good, but the forecast doesn't look too terrible. So this is gonna be a 21 mile day. It's gonna be a giant day. I really hope I can make it that far. <laughs> But up and over Greylock is going to be a pretty decent climb. Ugh, so let's hop to it. Some good news and some bad news. We'll do bad first because it's not that bad. <laughs> Apparently my headphones didn't charge. I had them both in the case even though, you know, I can only use one of them. And I had them plugged in all night long and it didn't charge. So that's not good. So I've got my wired ones in which isn't the best, because that means I can't really hear my surroundings, which is not great, but um, I will not survive this day without listening to music and podcasts, because I am all by myself again. Woohoo. You all know how much I love being by myself. Okay, so not, not so bad just listening to my music through a wire, but the good news is a trail runner just passed me and he said that um, uh, there's trail magic. Some guy's making breakfast two miles up. Yay! So that'll be a nice break on this massive climb up Greylock. <sighs> so let's get there. Well, isn't this a magical forest? I'm like in a cloud. What's not so magical is that's the trail. Yuck. I'm getting smoky flashbacks to when the trail is an actual creek. Like, this is the trail. Uh, it's very chilly. Like I said earlier, I'm literally in a cloud right now. I'm a little cold. Cold. That's okay. When I stop, I'll put on my mid layer. I think I'm getting close to a parking lot, so hopefully that's where Trail Magic Guy is. Oh my word. This is bacon wrapped. He is making omelets and pancakes. And I've got a Yoohoo. Yum. This looks delicious. Round two, blueberry pancakes. Yum. Well, that was fantastic Trail Magic. Unexpected. Thanks, bacon wrapped. <laughs> so, this is bacon wrapped. And uh, he's been doing like cooking trail magic for years and years and years up here in the north. So, oh, he was super cool. And he had his dog Hannah with him. But, it, oh, I wish I could have stayed longer, make it wrap. I'm so sorry, but it is freezing. I have on my mid layer, I have on my rain gear, even though it's not currently raining, just because like I was sitting there, I was like, I'm gonna have to get on my puffy, like, or put on my leggings or something, because it is so, so cold up here. I should have looked at my thermometer. I don't know how cold it is, but like I started to not be able to feel my fingers. <laughs> So that's not good. <sighs> I give you the spookiest lake. <laughs> we are definitely in the clouds up here. You can see it, right? 
Right through that tree, there's a cabin. I don't know if that's a shelter or what, but spooky. I'm over here walking on real slick boards, but oh gosh, better keep moving. As soon as I stop, I get freezing. All right, point four from the summit, Appalachian Trail North, footpath only. Let's do it. Well, if I've made it to the top, and uh, can you even see the monument? Because I certainly am having trouble. <sighs> well, that's disappointing. That's okay. Completely grayed out. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go sit in the lodge for a second. So the lodge has this area where the hikers are kind of crashing. It is very busy. Leaving the lodge, it's an absolute zoo in there. There are so many like huge hiking groups and uh, like hotel guests and just people trying to get out of the yuck. <laughs> but I sat in there and I tried to charge my headphones a little bit and uh, planned out some far out maps and oh, tried to get warm. But now I'm back out in the cold, in the yuck, in the fog. You can kind of see the monument now. <sighs> but I still have like 14 more miles to do and it's like one o'clock. Yeah, once you get closer you can see it. This is cool. Super fun. All right, ATN, that's me. They don't have the tower open today. And I can't blame them because This is the view. <laughs> oh, oh, there's a poster about what it should look like. Let's go see. Wow. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. All right, let's get moving. <laughs> I will never get tired of seeing these little guys. <laughs> Too fun. Also, the sun's trying to come out. How rude. Just as soon as I get off the summit of Mount Greylock, the sun comes out. Whatever. I'm like half a mile away now, so I'm not going back up. <laughs> wow. Where was this when I was on Greylock? Man. They probably have a great view up there right now. I'm kind of sad, actually. But this is... Oh, there's a plane! Do you guys see the plane? There it goes. Plane. Well, anywho, pretty view nevertheless. So I emerged from over there and I ran back into bacon wrap. And I now have bacon and a cheeseburger. Yum. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> so that is definitely going to give me the energy to go the eight miles I have left. I'm just moving. I guess it's the terrain. Like, it's just gross and muddy. And like I showed y'all earlier, like, the trail's literally a creek. And that was, like, not just a small section. Like, a very big section has just been a literal creek today. So it's really slowing me down. And then I spent so much time up on Greylock. I'm gonna be getting to camp at like 8 o'clock, 8.30, and that's if I don't stop and I go at a decent pace. <laughs> and I'm about to have another a giant climb. 1600, baby! Woo! Gorge. If you didn't know, I carry a tiny bat and take pictures with him. His name is Gorge. Anywho, uh, I got Gorge out to take his picture next to it, but oh, my word. That means as of as of these oh I'm getting caught in a tree. As of these steps that I am now taking, I have less than 600 miles left. Those numbers are starting to get awful small. <laughs> oh gosh. And I'm gonna be in Vermont in a matter of miles. That one I knew was coming today. I don't think I realized I was gonna hit 1600 today because I was just, you know, beep booping along and came upon that and I was like, Wah! it was insane. <sighs> crazy, crazy. 
like to point out that I am once again casually walking on a sidewalk. There's a blaze over there, but you know, safety. So I'm on this side of the road. Oh my gosh. AT, you are so weird. I'll have come through town, went up a very fancy ramp. Now I'm about to cross a bridge with lots of handprints on it. Looks high key, a little creepy. <laughs> So I've come from the road. Trails over there. I'm literally in someone's driveway. Look, ET hikers, please help yourself to the water. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Massachusetts, this is a terrible way to end. I don't know if you can tell how steep that is, but Pennsylvania wants their rock scrambles back. Oh, I feel like I'm back in the South. Big old climbs, but there's something to look at at the top. Uh, I am sweating profusely and I'm still nowhere close to the border. <laughs> Welcome to Vermont. Ow, ow! Y'all know what time it is and it's finally not eight in the morning when it's time for this. Welcome to Border Booze. If you're new uh, to my AT journey, I make a toast at every single border crossing. I haven't said this in a while, but just in case YouTube, if you forgot, I am 28 years old. Don't come at me. Social! Ah. Oh, cinnamon! Cheers! Well, I'm at camp and things aren't great. <laughs> we crossed the border, yay. But I'm all by myself and trying to get here, I just got so incredibly anxious and scared knowing that I was gonna be by myself, which is weird because I've stealthed by myself tons, but like it was getting dark and I just got all worked up about being by myself and not being able to catch up with my friends and I spiraled hardcore and uh get to my campsite I realize I've left my bathroom bag somewhere the only place I could have left it was at the Mount Greylock or like maybe I don't think I left it at the border but like when I mean bathroom bag I mean like my plastic like my Ziploc bag with like my wipes and toilet paper and like hand sanitizer and like all that good stuff so like my legs I don't even know if you can see them are muddy as all get out and I don't have any wipes and I'm not gonna have any toilet paper in the morning I and mean, I'm I'm not at a freaking shelter. No one's around. So this isn't good. And I have no phone service either. And there's just, there's nobody around. This is just, this is not good. So I'm probably going to have to go into town or do something tomorrow. Because, like, your girl's going to need toilet paper. Well, if you want to follow along on my AT journey... Make sure to subscribe. I also have an Instagram account. Before now, happy trails.